Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, do this for men to know your feelings. You have to do this if you want men to know your feelings. Uh, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. Uh, I shoot about three or four videos per week. And obviously, this is my holiday edition one because I'm wearing my ugly uh, Christmas sweater with Olaf on it. Can you see, wait, can you see it? <laughs> Let me know if you can see it. All right, we're gonna talk about this one thing you have to do. Uh, for men to get to know your feelings. So what's interesting um, is I was having a conversation with my best friend the other day and he's in a relationship where we were just talking about uh, one of the differences between men and women. And one of the things that women seem to do is, and, and this is a judgment, uh, but this feels like such a reality to us men, is that you expect us to read your mind, to read your mind, like we can read your mind, like we know what you're feeling. There's this grand expectation. I think um, my friend, uh, Alison Armstrong, says that women kind of have an expectation of having hairy versions of themselves. In other words, that we always know what you're feeling. We're hairier in that we most likely have hair on our back, making the... the um, the analogy to hairy, you know, hairy versions of themselves. But here's the reality is, is we can't read your minds. We don't know what you're thinking and feeling. This is why I'm such a big proponent of leaning in, leaning in by expressing yourself, by sharing your truth, by sharing your truth. One of the chapters in my book, Self Love the Book, or self-love, what the heck is self-love anyway? It's selflovethebook.com. Chapter one is speak your truth, do it with kindness. Lean in and start sharing your feelings. And then there's another chapter in my book called If It's Sincere and From the Heart, You Can Never Say the Wrong Thing to the Right Person. So it's, don't, here, it's time to stop expecting us to read your mind and start sharing about yourself because that's the only way we're going to get to know you and if we genuinely care about you we're not going to run away your greatest fear is that we're going to leave you because you share your feelings but guess what if you've shared your feelings and we've run away then we're not the right guy for you now i want to introduce you to a new book today i haven't talked about this book and this is for you seasoned personal development self-help and spiritual people this is for to see this is advanced you know 4.0 level uh shifting into your sovereignty your self-worth your self-love so you can actually start doing the things that i keep talking about in video after video after video and this book is called grounded spirituality by Jeff Brown, Grounded Spirituality by Jeff Brown. Look at how thick this one is. This is master level stuff. In fact, I highly recommend getting the book and listening to the audio at the same time. That's what I did. This is 20, 30 hours of intense work. But if you want to be able to learn how to shift from that fear of not being able to express yourself, and start shifting into a heart-centered space of love, then I highly recommend you do the inner work. And there's some deep stuff that needs to be done to get to this place, because one of the hardest things I've noticed from women is you either vomit your feelings or vomit your expectations of us instead of actually describing your feelings in a healthy way. This is why I've talked about this book in the last couple of videos. Read the book, Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. It should have been called Compassionate Communication, but this will help you. I'm giving you some really great resources. I'm not here to sell you on some $5,000, five-year program where you're watching a bunch of videos of mine. No, I want you to do the work yourself so you can build from the inside out. So when you're ready for a juicy, delicious relationship, you can reach out to me and I will specifically work with you on finding out of any of your blind spots and teaching you how to vet men, teaching you how to vet men. That's my area of expertise. Check out the link to a free discovery call if you wanna learn how to vet for emotionally mature men. I'm gonna pause for a second because I can see a picture of my son Connor in this video. Um, 
it's the holidays. For those who have been following me know, I lost my, my son Connor right there. That's him there, and that's him there. I lost him two years ago to an accident, and the holidays fucking suck. It sucks without him. He loved this shirt. It's part of the reason why I'm wearing this. I lost my mom. That's a picture of my mom and dad. I lost her right before the previous year. This really sucks, the holidays, and maybe it sucks for you too. And that's why I just want to give you a big, gigantic hug right now. I'm asking you for a hug right now. I could really use hugs because this is a tough time for me. But I want you to know I'm here to serve you. I'm here to, to shift perspective. I'm here to be a wake-up call. I'm such a, a huge proponent of being the wake-up call to shift because I'm not here to blow smoke up your ass. If you follow my work, you know I curse, I'm very <laughs> passionate, I yell and I scream. Maybe some of it is because I'm angry too. I'm angry that I lost my, oh my, now I'm going to cry. I lost him. But I'm also here to be passionately wanting to help and be, a, be of service. If I'm making a difference in your life, please post a comment below. I'd like to hear. If this is resonating with you, if you have a question, if you want support, please post it. I read all of them, or at least I do my best to read all of them. Because I would like to see people beginning to live healthy, happier relationships. Because as Esther Perel says, the quality of our life is a reflection of the quality of our relationships. And I want you and everyone to begin to have juicy, delicious relationship that nurtures our, your soul, your spirit, your inner child. And my hope is that's helping. Check out these books I recommend. There's a link to Jonathan Recommends books as well. Thank you for all the support you've given me. So many of you have written me about my son. I am so grateful. I know many of you have lost children yourself. Or you've lost a special someone. This is a tough time for everybody. And we could all just do the most compassionate thing. And if we can, either give a physical hug or a virtual hug. Because that will make a difference. It really does. Send a prayer for everyone. Send light and love out to the universe. Because we can all use way more love. And that's my invitation for you. Uh, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, give myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love. And as I said before, let's all embrace each other with love. Because love is how we're going to get through this time and even have a better tomorrow. I want to thank you so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Bye-bye now.